Alright, so I'ma hopefully not make this video too long, but I see everybody talking about WrestleMania, so I'ma just quickly just do my prediction of WrestleMania, like what matches I wanna see, what probably will happen, what should happen, you know, the the the, the basic, the basic. Uh, hang on one a second. All right, so let me see who's competing because I I kind of like been out of the wrestling loop. Like I see all of the clips from wrestling, and that's what gets sent to me. But ever since last year, I just stopped watching WWE. Like I can't stand Roman Reigns, but I'm not gonna try and I'm gonna try and not rant about Roman Reigns because. I just get sick of talking about him. So the Royal Rumble has to make the storyline for WrestleMania happen, right? So let's see. Royal Rumble, uh, Jimmy and Jay Uso, right? They had beef with each other. They got the feud going. He, uh, his brother cost him the, the match for the championship. So, you know, they're going to rekindle that somehow. They on two different shows right now. But what I think is going to happen in the Royal Rumble, I think the last, I'm going to say the last five people in the Royal Rumble is going to be, it's going to be Jimmy Uso, Jay Uso, Cody Rhodes, CM Punk, and Drew McIntyre. And what I think is going to happen is going to look like Jimmy Uso is going to eliminate somebody and Jay Uso is going to eliminate him. And then Jay Uso is going to get eliminated right after that, causing their feud to start, right? Like, hey, you screwed me out the championship not once, not twice. And then they're going to have their feud. That's going to be that's going to be match number one, WrestleMania, right? Then you got I'm trying to I'm, <laughs> forgive me. I'm trying to get the um like the uh uh match card together because I don't I don't even know who's who's competing really anymore. But so Jimmy and Jay, they're gonna fight each other, right? The next thing that's gonna happen is somebody's gonna eliminate Drew McIntyre. I see that happening. Cody and CM Punk is gonna be the last people, right? But what I think is gonna happen here, and this is good storytelling, CM Punk is gonna eliminate Cody Rhodes to win the Royal Rumble. And what I think is gonna happen there First of all, that's AEW storytelling. You got one guy who founded the company and then another guy who went there and then somewhat left. <laughs> he, got, he got fired, but he left the company, so he got beef with them. So CM Punk eliminating Cody Rose to come back to WWE. It's, it's good storytelling in the fact that he also eliminates him from the Royal Rumble, right? But then on top of that, if y'all remember the Shawn Michaels Undertaker feud, y'all remember how... Um, the second year that uh, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker fought, when Shawn Michaels got eliminated from the Royal Rumble, and he he had a mental breakdown, like, yo, you like all my chances is gone. I can't fight the Undertaker again. And I think Cody Rhodes should go through that storyline and just like do anything in his power to get into WrestleMania to be able to compete for the championship. And what I think is going to happen by that time is Cody Rhodes. He's either going to be transferred to SmackDown. Or he's going to, I guess, take out a person to get into an Elimination Chamber match for, for SmackDown. Because most likely, if I had to guess, the Elimination Chamber match for SmackDown, Roman doesn't even wrestle. So they're not going to have him in a Chamber match. And they're also going to protect him from being injured or, what, or whatever, you know. So they're just going to have a number one contender match for the Elimination Chamber, uh, for, the, for the title at the Elimination Chamber. Because that, that just has to happen, right? So Cody's gonna be in that match and he's gonna he's gonna win. Okay. That's how I think it sets up uh Cody going into WrestleMania, right? So that's how he's gonna get to WrestleMania. Whether it be the rock involved in that, I don't know, but that's how I, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get into WrestleMania. Because nobody else on SmackDown, they even attempting to push into the main event picture. It's, SmackDown has been dead. Like you got two champions there who can't even defend the title like and and nothing against logan paul because 
sorry, nothing against Logan Paul because like he's a good wrestler and everything. He came in, but like for you to just hold the title and then like every every time there's a SmackDown and they 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 got to do like a some sort of dumb tournament or whatever to see who's the next in line to to face the champion. Whereas if the champion actually showed up, the champion also defends it in you know every other week or so, and then you got that one new competitor that's stepping up. They get lucky, and then and then you know they get they get a number one contendership for that for that title because they pin they pin the champion or beat the champion in a in a random match on SmackDown, you know. So that's how I see that. The other thing that needs to happen, whether this happens at Royal Rumble or it happens at uh, Elimination Chamber, LA Knight and AJ Styles are gonna cost each other their match, and I see, I see that happening. The reason why that should happen is that's TNA feud build. TNA, if y'all don't know, by the way, it just is um, just becoming TNA again. They used to be Impact Wrestling. Now it's TNA again, finally, right? But that's also storytelling for those two guys that both came from TNA. You got AJ Styles being TNA original. You got LA, LA Knight. Uh, he, he was in TNA, I'm going to say, af after 2010. I know that for sure. So they, it's like you got the original guy and then you got the the I was there in the middle guy. And then that that right there is the story storytelling. It's like their feuds can build on that. Like, hey, we both came from from TNA Impact Wrestling and you think you're better than me. I think I'm better than you. And they just have the, they just have their match. So I see that happening. AJ Styles versus LA Knight. At, uh, the, like the build up early and then at WrestleMania just have like a, a feud match. Right. And speaking of TNA, from what I understand, this is just rumors. I don't, I hate hearing the rumors, but this is just rumors. They said that Naomi might appear in the uh, Royal Rumble, and if she does appear in the Royal, Royal Rumble, she might be, she might come out as Impact Champion, like Mickey James was uh, a couple years back, right? But the thing with that, what's important about that is that last last time they wanted Mickey James to have a feud with somebody big while she was trying to impact but also go to wrestlemania and fight like a big name female competitor so they could still do that with naomi so that that right there that that's the partnership from wwe and tna together to just just it helps tna build itself again and then it also it's just hype in itself like you're seeing a tna person to, that's in wrestlemania that's going to you know that's going to compete against wwe superstar even though you know we know naomi is is originally in wwe and everything but it it, it just builds hype on tna it builds it builds it to for people that want to see tna again and tna tna i love tna like from like oh what was it oh i'm gonna say oh five through like up until where hulk hogan got there like and a little a little bit after that and then i and then i just i dispersed tna but all of that before that i i used to watch tna more than monday night raw more than smackdown because it was just hype it was just hype and it was always in uh orlando studios uh universal studios so they always had like really cool storylines to tell you had the broken mat stuff later on and it, it was cool right so that's one thing tna wrestler versus WWE wrestler, right? Um, who else is left on the card? Oh, you got you got Gunther, right? So Gunther is probably going to be in the in the Royal Rumble match, and I think that everybody's saying Brock Lesnar, but my thing with that is like, you could have him compete against Brock Lesnar, but I, the the IC title being there to me is just like for in Brock Lesnar's case. It's not as as big, you know, like it's like it's big because Gunther is like he, he prides himself on being the best in the ring, which I like. And Brock Lesnar is the, like the same guy. But the the Brock Lesnar wins the IC championship. It's like whatever. Like he won it. He won a belt. But I don't know. Like it, that just it's just weird. It's just weird seeing like somebody who's always been world champion heavyweight champion wwe champion going to like a, a I'm, I'm not going to disrespect the title and say it's lower class but it's lower on the card you know but 
Then again, if Brock wins, it brings prestige. If Gunther beats Brock, then it brings more prestige to Gunther. So I'm I'm all with it. But um, Gunther versus Brock, I can see it happening. Definitely. Other otherwise, um, I don't know. Maybe you can you can finally have Chad Gable prove himself and defeat Gunther at, at WrestleMania. You never know. Anybody anybody who like I feel like that belt is specifically for like wrestlers who who like are really wrestlers you know what i mean like they they don't just go out there and show off and 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 just be entertainers you know and and pull these little stunts to win the match that title ever since Gunther had it every match felt like a wrestling match and i like that that's what i like about that title scene so i'm i'm with that if that happened uh, who else you got? You got oh, I got CM Punk winning the Royal Rumble. That's just no brainer. CM Punk winning the Royal Rumble. He's fighting Seth. The end of story. Like he's just he just is, and that that must like it must be night one of WrestleMania. Like it just it just has to be. Like you can't even even with the Rock being there, you can't just say like hey let's just do Rock and Roman day one and then Cody and Roman day two. Like it just to to. To sit there and screw CM Punk like that again, like it's just like, dog, like, and I, and I'm not saying that you know just because CM Punk just came back from a different company, it's just like, but he still has the prestige to his name, so to to sit there and do that, and if it's not main event, if it's first match or something like that, it degrades that value of that championship more than it already is, because y'all introduced the belt, and it, this got me upset. They introduced the belt. Because Triple H came out and basically said, yo, Roman, Roman doesn't uh, defend the title. He doesn't compete. He just, he, he's a champion that wants people to acknowledge him, right? And then the next, the next week, he's out there shaking Roman's hand, giving him the new belt. And it's like, bro, you already degrading the whole new belt that's there. It's, it's always going to be second fiddle to the, the main belt because it's like you presented it that way. But it could, it it could flip the script once CM Punk wins it because I mean Seth Seth is Seth is a you know he is top guy but let's be honest like he turned face by accident like that he he didn't he wasn't he didn't need to be a face he just he became a face by accident because people liked his music and was just going along with it and it just became a thing but he he needed like he needs a competitor that that beats him just because. They better than him, you know, and that's what CM Punk is there to prove. So, with it, I think Drew should have won it a long time ago, but it is what it is, right? You got um, what's his name? I just brought him up a second ago. Oh, uh, Logan Paul, right? Logan Paul, IC title. Logan Paul, IC title, right? So this this is why I don't like him being champion. It's like everybody in that mid card vortex of of um, of uh, the the um, I said IC title right U.S. Championship I meant that U.S. Championship they just float in that same vortex and compete against the same guys every week and it's boring. So what I think they should do at WrestleMania make it a crazy like a crazy ladder match or something like that with like six seven people in it and then people are just bodying each other all over the place you know something like that i'd rather see that with with all of the guys that are on smackdown because it, it makes no sense to keep doing this oh who, who's the next tournament winner to face this guy two pay-per-views down the line like it's it's whack so that's what i think should happen ladder match with like six seven people for that belt right um who you got oh you the women's championship oh this is this important one I think Bailey should win the Royal Rumble. Reason why Bailey wins the Royal Rumble? Because Bailey wins the Royal Rumble. Team Japan, the AKA Damage Control, all, all the Japanese competitors, they can be their own stable. You have you have Asuka, um Asuka, Kairi Zane, and EO Sky uh turn on Bailey, which you know is coming anyway. You got, should, they're gonna turn on Bailey for winning the Royal Rumble and is gonna be like, oh, like, you know, you're a better you're better than me, you think you're better than me kind of scenario. And then, like, probably have like Sasha Banks return at WrestleMania or something. Like Bailey, Bailey has her partner. I don't know if Dakota Kai will be cleared, but if if she's cleared, then she'd be in the match. And then WrestleMania, 
um they 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 tease that bailey has to find like a third a third person for the three on three match and then sasha banks returns oh but then actually no screw that because you can't do that because bailey has to compete for the championship right but still maybe you can still have it like that have team japan turn on her have bailey um want to um what do you call it want to uh uh what is the word I'm looking for? Want to use her opportunity for the for the women's championship, for the SmackDown Women's Championship. So she's going against EO Sky. But then every week leading up to WrestleMania, it's um it's uh Team Japan beating up Bailey. So she stands no chance. And Dakota Kai, and maybe maybe if she's still injured, maybe it's like um Bianca Belair is is happens to be on Bailey Bailey's team, something like that. And then at the at the event while they beating each other, it's a whole referee gets knocked down um team japan is beating up bailey and and bianca belair or whoever's on bailey's team and then sasha banks comes back and then helps fight them back or something like that it, it would be cool and then bailey wins it again you know it, it, i'm just saying i'm just saying that's what i think is it should happen bailey uh wins uh royal Rumble, right the women's royal Rumble. And then at the same time, like I said, you can have this TNA person who appeared in the Royal Rumble. Maybe it could be Naomi. Um, I don't know who else is in who is in uh, TNA Women's Division now because a, a lot of them left. I know Dion Perrazzo is in uh, AEW now. But um, I know Rosemary. But Rose, I will only want Rosemary to, to, to uh, be in WWE if the entire Decay can be there. That's just that to me. That's just hype. That's, that's just hype to me. That's like reviving like the theme type stuff. Like you got that that weird scenario, weird um supernatural talent that, that comes out and fights you. I I would like that. But I don't know, we'll see. Right? So you got that. Uh, who else? Uh tag team. That's my thing with the tag team, first of all. I don't like that Damian Priest is the is the tag team champion. I don't like that at all because I, I think it, decred it discredits him as the money in the bank guy a little bit because every time he's going to cash in, he gets beat up and it, it, it makes him look weak. And I don't think he should be looking weak. He should be like a strong dude that comes in and just be like, yo, like I got this and I could beat up all y'all at any time. I think he should be that type of person, right? To just come in and cash it in when he needs to cash it in and, and like, he looks like a dominant force for people to cash it in. But right now, the way that they use him, they, they make him look a little weak. And then Finn Balor, like, it's not his fault. Like, you had him fall off a, off a turnbuckle. You had a turnbuckle break for him to lose a match. Like, come on, dog. Like, that's that's just nonsense. And now, it, like, look at his career now. Like, it's not that he's a bad competitor because he's not a bad competitor at all. But you, you now put him in a, in a place where he can't move, he can't really move up from. So he's just stuck there. But I think again, you should have probably Miz and, and um R Truth is gonna is gonna beat them for the titles or something. And then um I don't know, maybe maybe Finn and Finn and somebody else from Judge, Judgment Day like J D is gonna rematch them or whatever. And then Damian Priest takes care of his money in the bank thing. Which of course he he's gonna cash in on CM Punk, but I don't think he's going to do that at WrestleMania. He could, but I don't think that's going to happen because it, it kind of diminishes the hype. I don't know. Like, because if CM Punk wins at WrestleMania, it's, it's, yo, CM Punk finally did it. He just made a man. He, he got a championship at WrestleMania. And then Damian Priest comes out cash in. It's like, it is what it is. Because then you could you, you you go right into the next Monday Night Raw to, to continue that feud. And that that's that's fire to me. But I don't think he should he should do that. I think I think Priest should cash in the, the Raw right after WrestleMania and do it, right? That's what I think. That's me personally, right? Then you have um so yeah, I'm sorry. Um, tag team, tag team championships. Uh, Miz, Miz and R Truth should win it. That's that's it. Like Miz and R Truth should win it. They should they should build up this whole R Truth as part of Judgment Day, and then Judgment Day kind of like I don't know, like severely beat them up and make him bleed. Show show blood. Like don't don't try 
try and hide that. Like show blood, make the make the feud look more real than than it than you know it's presented. And then Miz helps him out, like, yo, but you know I got your back. We've been awesome food for a long time. I got your back. And then R Truth returns and and um and they they both win it at WrestleMania. It'd be it'd be fire. It's, bro, R Truth needed needed these championships for a long time, bro. He's he's been that guy. He's been world champion, I think, two times. Um NWA championship counts as a world champion. So he's he's been out there, but he's never got it in WWE, which it is what it is, missed opportunity, whatever, right? But he is he is an actual person, even though he's made on TV to look like a joke. He's actually a person that can run circles around like most of these guys in the ring in the in the main event. So again, WWE logic is what it is. Um, there's a women's tag team uh, championship too. Um, Kaden and um, I forget the other girl name. I apologize. But um, their tag team championship that this title just needs to be built up better. That that's all it is. Like it's it's not that it's whack. It is whack right now. But like it just it just needs the more hype surrounding it. Make more women's stable division because right now all they're doing is is rotating between like challenges for Rhea and um and EO Sky. Like it's just it's just rotating. But then everybody who loses, they still in that vortex of yo, I'm gonna compete again to be the next competitor. Or I lost, I'm gonna compete again to be the next um competitor for the for the title. And it's like Put that aside. Let them let them do like a tag team thing. Make the tag team, make the women's tag team champions, make the women's tag team championship belts bigger than it looks. You know what I mean? Like for example, like if both uh, Bianca and Charlotte lost to Eo Sky, and they had beef with each other, give them a reason to take to team up and possibly become tag team champions. And then now, now if they become tag team champions, you have the EST, which she's the EST, so she's the strongest, right? And then you got Charlotte, who's the, who's the um, uh, what's this word? I'm about? I don't know, but the most prestigious, right? So like they both big names. So now, now you got multiple women in the division that's competed against them to try and take them off for the title and it's like it works it just works because now the titles is on somebody who's really strong was on a team that's really strong and then whoever beats them has credibility of saying hey we on that level too bring it like that just bring it they need to make that and they need to make these feuds more personal Stop with the like. This is just uh, I. I want to fight you for the title. All right, bring it on. Nah, like make that joint personal. Like, yo, like, like I slap your dad in the face, and that's why I want to fight you. <laughs> like, like they need to do that. They need to do that. That's how it used to be. You always had the, besides the main titles, you always had a personal feud on the pay per view. You always had one of those feuds that's like, yo, I want to see how this go down because. The build up to this was crazy. Like, like, yo, my man's broke in his house and he beat up his wife, and then and then he DDT his wife while while he while while her husband had the watch, and then and then like the next week they came back and jumped him and broke his arm. And like, yo, like bring those type of feuds back. You know how many times Triple H and Stone Cold literally committed murder on on WWE TV? <laughs> like, it's, bro, I miss that. I miss that. I miss that, bro. I need that again, right? And then you have um, Rhea. I think she's just fighting Ny Nia Jax. I just think that's just what it is. She's fighting Nia Jax in the belt. They claim. Um, um, Nia Jax is gonna win, but I I don't think she's gonna win. I think I think uh, I still say Bailey is gonna win it, but we'll see we'll see. But I, I I regardless of the outcome whether Nia Jax wins it or not, I still believe that she's facing Rhea for the title at WrestleMania, and it's possible that she's gonna win it because like they they're building her up to be that that monster of the women's division now, and it, it's it's been a minute, so we'll see with that. Rhea versus Nia, right? So I got Jimmy and Jay, Cody and Roman, um, AJ Styles, LA Knight. I got a 
random TNA women's wrestler versus WWE wrestler. Gunther versus Brock. Logan Paul US title ladder match. Bailey versus EO with returning Sasha Banks. Um, Miz and R Truth versus uh, whoever is champion Judgment Day at that time. I think I, I mean they could lose it before then. I doubt it. Maybe I don't know. But if 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 Priest and Finn are still champions going into WrestleMania, I see that tag team champion match being like one of the earliest matches on the card because then it pushes Damian Priest. It pushes the hype behind Damian Priest being able to cash in, right? Then you got um, the tag team women's uh, championship match, which is uh, uh, Kaden. And again, I forget her name. Uh, them two versus like somebody, somebody hype, bro. Just, just bring bring hype back to that title. That's all I'm saying. Rhea versus Nia Jax. And oh, you got they usually do the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. I think both. Well, I'm gonna just say one because I'm not really behind Braun Breaker. I'm not a Braun Breaker person. The, all I hear about him is, oh, he's the next guy. But like, why? Like, why? Because he looks young and muscular. That's that's why he's the next guy. I don't believe that. So far, the the only people that has impressed me on on NXT that I've seen is the uh, is uh, uh, Carmelo Hayes. I keep saying, <laughs> I keep I keep saying, I keep thinking like NBA gimmick in my head. I'm like. Bro, this, who's the dude that's that's his wrestling persona is is to be Carmelo Anthony, and then I was like, it's Carmelo Hayes, right? So that he's the only person that's like impressive to me that I've seen in them as, in NXT. I know NXT do have a lot of good people up there, but um, I think he should make his debut in the Andre the Giant uh, Battle Royal. He may not win it, but I think he should make a debut there. And then, yo, you gotta, you gotta do something with Bobby Lashley, bro. Like something, bro. Like I don't know what, but you gotta do something. How you go from having the man lose his title by not even being he, he wasn't even pinned or anything. He had, I don't know if it was a real injury or not, or he just decided to take time off, and because the, the title was gonna be passed to Brock anyway. But you go from him having to basically surrender his championship to never getting the opportunity ever again. Like, and he's just stuck there in this, this like, I love the street profits too. like push them. But then it's like, Oh, they heal. And then the next week they face. And then now you got real heels attacking them. And it's, it's like, bro, what, what are we doing? Like, what are we really doing? And where's Omos anyway? Where's MVP and Omos? They just like vanished to the nether realm. Like, where are they? Right. But, it's like, bro, like you can't just just have this man just float doing nothing when you know he's he's main event competitor, bro. Like seriously, like he's main event competitor. Like, what are you doing with him? Maybe, maybe you know what? Because I have Cody winning the elimination chamber to be the number one, um, the number one contender. Maybe Bobby Lashley will fight Randy Orton, and they they just go at it at WrestleMania or something. Cause you can't have just Randy Orton just float there. You know what I mean? Something, something's gotta happen. And, and it, it, this whole, this whole thing with the Rock coming back, it just, this is what causes the whole friction and everything. Cause then it's like, well, you have a legend, but at the same time, this legend don't need a championship match to to make the match hype. It's like you just you put the championship makes it more more like here, but you don't you don't need it. But then at the same time, then is then the, the the argument becomes well Roman ain't the tribal chief unless he unless he got the, the the champion the championship right. He's nothing without that belt, which is that's WWE's fault by the way because he legitimately is nothing without that belt right. He has no accolades to his name like. Tell me something that Roman Reigns done without that belt. That's that's actually worth talking about. Like it, there's none. Like you can't like off the top of your head, you can't think of it, right? But see, the the issue with that is like Roman is just he holds a title hostage. 
and the, and the title is I don't, I don't want to rant about Roman. I, I don't. Let me let me drop that. <laughs> I don't I don't want to rant about Roman because it's gonna become a, a rant about Roman, bro. But I'm just saying because the Rock came back, it it makes everybody have to take a back seat. So whatever they whatever plan they got happening for the rock and like yes the rock again is a legend but it's like bro like these guys on a roster have been competing for a year just to have a match at wrestlemania like you can't just have somebody just come in and swoop that in to do that when that was when that was supposed to be your plan whatever years ago to do that you know what i'm saying so it's like it's a little disrespectful to the roster to do that even even though your name is The Rock, even if it was Stone Cold Steve Austin, even if it was The Undertaker, Triple H, it's like, yo, y'all all re respectfully, y'all all greatest of all time. But to, to just to just say, yo, new talent move, I'm taking that match. It's like that's how it looked to me. And it's it's, it's kind of messed up. But if you if you don't do Cody versus uh, Roman at WrestleMania, then you have to do Cody versus Randy Orton. And I yo, when I tell you I need this feud to be extra disrespectful, I need it to be extra disrespectful. I need Randy Orton to, to come out, talk about that episode of Raw where he slapped Dusty Rose in the face and Cody did nothing about it. I need they need to unban the punt kick, stop playing, like bring that back. Like they just need to do like yo have Brandy get involved and <laughs> have Radio and just be a menace, bro. Just oh, that's your wife. Be ashamed if she got kicked in the head, right? <laughs> it's just and just just do something foul, bro, to make that build to make that feud be something to be something so credible. And the only reason we on this scenario. It's because WWE chose not to push this man last year. You had it. You had it, bro. You had a baby face that you didn't have to build who the audience was behind. And you chose not to do it. So now the audience is behind this person. Still behind this person because they need to see him succeed. It's like, bro, we've been invested so long. It's like, bro, like this is Avengers Endgame. Like, I need to see Captain America win. Like, I have to see it, right? But at the same time, it's like Roman sucks so bad that it's like, bro, this is me personally. I don't watch a Roman match because I don't care. I don't care. I don't care how many times the referee gets knocked down, that his brothers, his cousins is gonna interfere, do the same thing. I don't care. Like, I could care less. And I'm sorry, The Rock is the person that I want to see compete, but at the same time, I don't care if The Rock wins or not, because that's how much I can't stand Roman Reigns matches. It's so lame, because it's like, you know, you, you got to get beat by Roman for, for another piece of writing on his resume to, to claim that he's the best of all time when he still is bottom tier co compared to everybody else who's Hall of Fame legend status, regardless of how many days you have. But then it's like, okay, The Rock could win it and get the belt, but then it's like, what, you gotta you gotta drop it the next day because Hollywood said, yo, like, we, we need you and we can't have you in WWE defending this belt every week. You know, like that's that's the real scenario. And your fans, WWE, your fans are not stupid. Like we know, we know, we don't care. Me personally, I gotta speak of me personally because other fans be saying some wild stuff. But I don't care how WWE marketing works. I don't care what makes them money. I don't care none of that. All I care about is how entertaining is their program for us fans. That's what I care about, right? So whatever you do, just make it as that. However entertaining, it got to be for us fans, for us to enjoy the product. That's what it's missing. Not, oh, this 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 big name is going to gonna sell tickets. And it's like, bro, you know, you can have like six big names still sell tickets, right? You know, the more that people want to see the match, the more tickets you're going to sell by default. So start with the, yo, we got to bring back insert legend name to, to in order for us to to make this pay-per-view worthwhile but again it's only like that because this bum is the champion <laughs> again that's the only reason why but anyway man like 
that's that's my that's my match prediction card, whatever you want to call it. WrestleMania, Jimmy versus Jay, Cody versus Roman, AJ Styles versus LA Knight, a TNA star versus WWE star, women women's a women's uh, champion, whoever the women's champion in, in TNA is versus a big name WWE women's wrestler. Maybe maybe a Charlotte, most likely, or you know, somebody, somebody just somebody big, somebody big name. Uh Gunther versus Brock for the It's Kind of the Championship. I I'm gonna come back to that in a second. A uh, Logan Paul versus Logan Paul US Championship ladder match. Bailey versus EO Sky, while EO Sky has Team Japan, Asuka, and, and um Kairi Zane in her corner. Bailey has Whoever's in her corner, and then Sasha Banks returns to um, to assist Bailey in winning the title at WrestleMania. A tag team championship: um, Miz and r Truth versus Judgment Day. A tag team women's championship: Kaden. Sorry, <laughs> versus versus um, two two other big name women wrestlers that come together. Um, I don't know if Alexa Bliss is coming back. Nobody, nobody knows. And you know, you know what's sad about like, I thought she was the best when she debuted. Like, at the, like I thought she was better than all of for for a horse for a horse woman. Like I know Charlotte clearly is visibly the best, but like Alexa Bliss, like she brought that spark back. Like she had that that cocky Trish Stratus type of feel to her like she could just walk in a match beat you up and just walk out a champion and then just talk mad trash to you and i liked it i liked it but then then they just they just started making her look so weak after a while and it was just like it's just upsetting um Rhea versus nia Jax, um andre the giant battle royal i just need to see like carmelo hayes look like a somebody and then and because he's i think he's halfway on smackdown like he's he he's been on SmackDown a little bit, but he's not like officially on SmackDown. But I need to see that, and then do something with Bobby Lashley, bro. Like there's something. Oh, and I was coming back to um, Gunther versus Brock, right? So my thing is, if Brock wins, I'm gonna just say this one thing before I, before I turn this off, because I again, it's uh, already about to be a 40 minute video. But if Brock wins, and he has that Intercontinental Championship, I need to see him defend it, like. Not, maybe not maybe not every week but every pay-per-view at least bro he got it he got to defend that bro. he got to bro he just has to like because then it's just like bro now now every belt is just held hostage like can't have that that's that's my only gripe with gunther versus rock and that's the only reason why i wouldn't want it that but at the same time if you intercontinental championship if you in that intercontinental championship um, picture you are a wrestler you are not a sports entertainer you are a wrestler all these guys wrestle Chad Gable wrestles Gunther wrestles Drew famous wrestle that's the difference that's what I like about that title scene but I'm turning this video off because again I didn't I didn't even want this to be more than 15 minutes but hey it's 40 minutes now it is what it is later